here we have our old harness that came off of the car. And this is the new one I uh, got here, and it's a little different. It's a universal type harness, so it's not uh, configured the same. You can kind of see that the, the way the wires are laid out. We've got the gauge wires, the purple wire, and over here it's got the power in the ground. So and, uh, this one's got the way the ground's set up. I'm going to have to solder take this wire off and solder it to this one to make it match this original harness. So uh, first we're going to start with reconfiguring the pins. You can see the, the old harness versus the new harness. There's the, the melted connector there. So let's set this one aside. And there's like a little locking tab in here. I've already loosened it up a little bit but it just pops out with the screwdriver. And that, uh, that holds the wires in place remove these you can use a paper clip you insert them in the top of the, the face of the connector here there's a little divot just kind of push your paper clip in there pull back on the wire a little bit okay. put that aside you do the same for the rest of them and you get it pressed in you kind of pull out on it at the same time and come out. Okay, now we just got the connector loose. Okay, we're going to start configuring the harness to match our old one here now that we got the wires loose. Uh, you know, as you can see the connector, I'm holding it the same way. And the purple wire here is for the, the gauge, for the tells you how much gas you got in the tank. So we can go ahead and insert that one in the same slot here. Sure, I got it facing the right way here. The whole line up here. It's in there. Now we'll flip it over. So we only got two wires on this side. It's like the gray wire for the power goes on the left, and the ground goes on the right. next thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to strip a little bit of uh, insulation off here and join this wire to this one to some solder to sort of copy this harness here so it'll work the same way. I'm only going to be using this end of the, this extra ground wire here so you can pretty much just cut it in half. around this one. 